What's up YouTubers? This is a quick video to farm GMP from Metal Gear Solid 5. This is also a great way to level up your proficiency with all your captured and recruits. So what you'll want to do is first you want to select Mission 8. From there you'll want to drop into the very first closest drop zone. Uh, ignore this, yada yada yada. So you'll want the cheapest stuff that you can possibly get for whenever you go in there. Pretty much cheap gun, cheap secondary weapon. You'll want your uh, Fulton devices. You can take them all the way down to two, but you do need the transport specialist from a different mission to do this. If you do not have him, this will not work. So uh, anyways, you want to keep everything as low as possible. You might want to bring your D-horse and you'll select 0600. Oh, you'll also need decoys. Those are a primary thing you're going to need for this whole thing. You won't even need any other weapons. You won't even need to kill anyone. You won't need to trank anyone. You won't need to stun them. All you need is the specialist for transportation, Fulton devices, and about four decoys. Alright, so starting out, right whenever you actually are able to uh, open up your iDroid, you're going to want to look at the map and you'll want to go to the, a specific location. You're going to mark it so you can see where it is. Oh, you might want to equip your um, decoys. I have ran so many times I forgot to equip them. And yeah, anyways, equip them, make sure they're equipped, don't forget. So with your iDroid, you want to go to about right around where those two little ridges meet and that little curve right there. Mark it. It's pretty easy. You can't miss it. So you'll want to go on your D-horse. So from there, run north. You'll pass these two rocks. There is two wolves up here. If you're doing this by foot or trying to uh, get your buddy ranks up, you can be attacked by those wolves. If you have quiet, she will shoot them, and if she's not silenced, she will alert them. Up here, there will be about like two or three tanker trucks. If you see them, you know you're going the right way very important that you also know that this ridge right here you can you can essentially if you're running long time you can use the decoys there but there's not much cover to hide on if you have D horse you can make it here in no time so first you'll want to call in your chopper now throw down your decoy grenades la da 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 And make sure you activate them. You can also collect a couple extra plants over here. You know, a little extra. Uh, uh. So go over here, duck down, and you'll see three transportation vehicles. Two tanks and one truck. Uh, okay, there's tank. So you'll let them pass the house first. And once they've gotten past it, you'll run behind the very last tank, wait for it to back up, hit you, luckily you can't die, throw down a Fulton device, and you've got your first tank. So you'll run behind this one, and be careful when you run behind that one. If you sometimes press X, you'll jump on it. You just have to jump off, grab the last one, and boom. You have now successfully just s rank mission 8. Go over here, P-Quad will be in probably in a few seconds. Good. You completed the objective. Now get out of that. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. You can actually call P-Quad at any time. I prefer to call it there if you make the runs a little bit faster since it takes about a minute or so for them to come in. And like I said, this is a great way to actually up the proficiency with all the recruited and captured players you've captured.
Once you go to your mission results screen, <clears throat> you will be gifted with all this. Well, okay, it actually, I just completed a lot of stuff. Um, anyways, it'll tell you you got two tanks, four soldiers, one truck. Um, if you're using a character on here that's not Snake, you'll also get proficiency. This is an easy S rank mission. I mean, it's if, yeah, boom, S ranks, Fox Hunt, woo. And also, you gain a good amount of GP. So once you're done, you will gain. You usually gain about an A plus and sometimes A plus plus soldiers. So it's a great way to also farm a couple of high rank soldiers. Well, this has been Gizmo 2606. Hope you enjoy the guide.